Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's look at 10 useful advanced file search techniques. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So when you do a file search in Finder by default it will search for the name or contents of the file. But you can get much more advanced than that. Let's start off here with a simple search for a name. Now you can use the search field here at the top right or you can use Command F which is the shortcut for File Find to open up a new window or tab and start a search. Now if I search for something up here like Test that I'm going to come up with files that match either the name or the contents. Notice some of these files don't have that in the name. It's because this word is in the contents of the file. Instead if I go down here to File Names Contains Test you'll see it changes here to say Name and I'm searching just for the name. So all of the results here have that in the name. I can click here and then change that to Everything to search for Name and the contents. A shortcut for that is simply to type Name colon and then whatever you want. And this will search just for the name and I don't even have to select this. Once I do you can see it just converts it to that. Now alternatively I can not type anything up here at all and I can go right to the search criteria here. Note the very first thing is the search scope. So you can set it to the entire Mac or just the location you started in. If you want to customize that go to Finder Preferences and then under When Performing a Search you can set it to Default to search this Mac, search the current folder or return to the previous folder you were searching in the last search that you did. Now it's going to give you the default criteria kind as any. You think then that it would then give you results that would include every file in this location. But by convention here it's just going to not show you anything. It's going to assume kind as any then relates to whatever you're searching up here. But if you were to change this to something else it would then give you the results. So for instance if I did kind as image I'd get the images there. Now let's focus on searching by name. If I select name here then I could just as before do a search but I have more advanced features here. I could do Name Matches or Name Contains. Notice that Name Contains is a different search. This one for instance here finds TES period T and matches to that. So there's some slight differences between these two. You could also do Begins With or Ends With like that. You could also do Is for an exact match. So only files that are exactly this. And if you wanted to you could do is not. So now I get the results of every file that's not with that. Now you could change from name to all sorts of other things. So one thing you can select is kind and you can then set it to anything other than any and it will give a result. So for instance all of the images. But notice that this goes an extra level deep in some cases. For instance kind is image allows you then to select the type of image. So I could say I just want JPEGs or I just want PNGs. And notice here that when I had all selected it had PSDs, Photoshop documents as an option, but I didn't see PSD right there. I can go to Kind is Other and then I could type something in here. So if I want to look for Photoshop documents I could type Photoshop. Now what is that matching exactly? Well if I select a file here and I do Command I I can see here Kind and it's looking right here for the match. So for instance if I were to search for a document here you would wonder well what qualifies something as a document. Well it's simple. If you select it and get Info you can see in this case Kind is Pages Document. So it's taking that word from the Kind there and matching it. So if I did PSD here you can see it comes up with nothing because that doesn't match Kind. I could instead do Name and then Ends With to match those. Now what if you do want to match the contents not the name. So you know some words are used somewhere in the document. Instead of name you can go to Contents and this will ignore the name and simply look for things that have this word somewhere in the contents of the document. Usually these will be text documents, things with the word actually written in there. But sometimes they can be found in other types of documents if the app that created it actually stores words like maybe text over an image in such a way that it can be found by Spotlight. 
Now a lot of other things you're going to find if you choose Other here. It's going to come up with a whole list of things that you can search for. However most of these just apply to one particular application or another. For instance a lot of these have to do with music files and there are things about like the composer. Other things have to do with photos taken by a camera. So they've got things like aperture and exposure and all of that. So for instance let's go into the documents folder here and then let's go into projects and select a file like this one here. I can use command I and I can see tags right up here and I can add a tag. So let's add a tag called work to this. Now if I return to a search I can search for that tag. Let me do other and then I'm going to search here for tags and then do work and it will show up. Now sometimes it can get confusing because if instead of tags if I had maybe discovered keywords I would think maybe this is tags in the finder. And you can see it comes up with nothing. If I actually search the entire Mac and you can see it comes up with a bunch of things here. What's all this about? Well here's some stock photography for instance. If I do Command I with it I can see here under More Info Work is actually a keyword in there. That's part of the file. It's part of the metadata describing what's in this file. It's not the tag that I add up here myself. So this would be something created in the Graphics app that made this image. You run into the same thing here if you go and look for comments. So you've got comments about this item. So if I look for comment matches that and I look here I can see there is indeed keywords, where from, and a whole bunch of other metadata. And that's somewhere there in that metadata. On the other hand if I were to go to a file like before and add something here to the comments then I would search and find that not using comment but instead using spotlight comment. So you can see spotlight comment matches work comes up with that file. Another useful one that you can do is fonts. So you can look for fonts used in this item. So let's do that. So font matches. Let's say I'm looking for Arial. And I can see here are some documents that have that font. And there's a lot of them including the font itself. So I may want to add another criteria here that says kind is and then document. And now I can see all the documents that use this. It could be useful if you find some sort of third party font on your Mac and you want to decide whether or not you should get rid of it. You can see which documents are currently using that font. Just make sure you're searching either this Mac or some area that's going to have all the documents that you want to find. Another useful one is pages. So pages search for the number of pages in a document. So normally you want to do is greater than and let's say how many documents do I have that have more than 100 pages. So here's a whole bunch of them. I got more than 500 pages. So there's a bunch here. So it's an alternate way to look for something by size. I can say give me all the PDFs or all the pages documents or something where the length of the document is greater than 500 pages. Now one really interesting thing that you can do is you can search for applications. So I can do kind as application and on this Mac it's going to give me all of the apps installed. Now I could make it a little easier for Spotlight by actually going to the Applications folder first and then doing Command F. So now it's going to search just Applications here and then I could say OK Kind is Application. Now the cool thing is that you could do more than that because you can add another criteria. I search for App. I come up with Category, App Store Category. So let's go into that and I can say Category Matches and let's say Games. Productivity or let's say Graphics. And this could be one of those things that's really good if you save it and create a saved search for it. Let's call it Graphics Apps and then have it add to the sidebar. So now I can easily find all my Graphics Apps anytime I want. And I can actually drag that to the right side of the dock and now I have all my Graphics Apps here. Now like that Pages one I showed you before there's a way to search for folders that have a certain number of items in them. So we could do kind is folder but only folders are going to show up in this result anyway. So now we could do folder and say number of items. There it is. And we could say the number of items is greater than and I could say 1000. So here are the folders on my Mac that have more than 1000 items in them. 
And you can also search for images that have a certain width, height, or total pixel count. So let's go to Other here and search for Pixels. And we can see pixel count, height, or width. So for instance if we did count we could say pixel count is greater than and some really big number like 1 million. It's going to give me all the images that have that many pixels in it. 100 million so these are the largest images I've got by the number of pixels not by the actual size. So compression may be making some of these smaller than my largest images but still they're the ones that would take up the most screen space. But I could also do pixel width or pixel height. So let's do pixel height. And 4K is the equivalent to 2160 vertically. So if I do that notice I'm getting a lot of videos here because I didn't say I just wanted images. So it's giving me any file that's got 2160 pixels in height. Videos and images. So I could specify the kind is an image like those or I could say it's a video. So this is a quick way to find all of your 4K video or anything that's 4K or greater. You could also choose where. So what does where do? Well where the item came from. So if you've downloaded files you can find the files that came from a certain site. So I can use Adobe to find all of the ones that I downloaded from Adobe's stock photography site that I use. So I can see all of these here. If I select a file I do Command I you'll even see here under More Info it says Where From and it's giving me the full URL to it. And that URL of course includes Adobe which is why it matches this. I want to throw in a few more tips here. Notice this list. The top stays the same and this one shows me things I've recently used. But if there's one that you find useful like for instance Pixel Count you can check the box here and now that one will stay here at the top part. Also if you want to search by name for wildcards you can do it. Of course in most cases you can just use matches and then type something like that and get the results that you want. But let's say you want to do something where you could get everything that starts with the letter T and ends with ST. Putting an asterisk there won't work. No matter which one you choose it's still not going to work. But you can use raw query to do this. And then you have to set this up with the special KMD item display name. Just like that capitalization counts and then do two equal signs and then in quotes put what you're looking for. So this is going to find everything that matches this exactly. But I can do a wildcard like that and now it will find things like themegraphics.cst that begins with a T and ends with an ST so it's matching it correctly. If you include the letter C after the quote like that then it won't care about case. So it will match things with a capital T like these here at the bottom. Now there's a lot more to explore under Other. Especially if you're using media files, images, sounds, videos, things like that. There are a lot of different ways that you can search for those items. And of course there's a lot of standard stuff to be found in here like for instance you could do a search by modified date. You can choose the range, how it works. Do something like before a certain day or within the last days, weeks, months, years. So if you're interested in more advanced searches just dig into this and spend the time to try all the different features out. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.